Welcome back to Land the House. It's uh, Thursday morning and I am heading to work, or at least trying to. An excavator has pulled down the power line across the road. I may be here for a while. I'm gonna see if I can zoom in and uh, get a shot of this. The power line is obviously way too low for that machine to be pulling dirt around. Well, I sat there in traffic for a while and then um, a semi truck moved over and they let us go under the power lines that were maybe two or three feet above my car. So I got to work. Also, um, we had no phone service, no internet in town all day, which is strange. Um, but luckily, right before that happened, I gave my mom um, the number to the delivery truck that was going to be dropping off my ram pump part order. And they got in contact. Um, and met up and she got to pick up my stuff right before we lost internet and cell. But anyway, so now I'm gonna take all these boxes to the workshop and get them checked and unloaded. When I built the workshop, I had several people complain that I built a ramp. They thought that I should have gone with stairs. And so let me show you why I built a ramp. It's hard to get a wheelbarrow upstairs like that. There's one company that I order from and I get free shipping after $75. And uh, I looked at their pricing versus going with uh, Dura plastic. And when I shop there, this one box saves me 150 bucks. So definitely uh, a good deal. I'll show you what's inside here. <laughs> it's 250 closed pipe razors. When Ashley was young, she had a necklace that was a circle and gold and had the Egyptian pyramids on it. And she's wanted one ever since she lost it, whenever that was. So I found something that I hope is what she's looking for. So this is an Egyptian coin and I had a, a jeweler put a uh, chain on it. So it's round, it's gold, and it's got the pyramids. So hopefully it is exactly what she was looking for. I'm gonna give this to her this evening and uh, hopefully she will like it. I just stepped out into the workshop to get some more of my French cleat shelves done. And I was just told that it's time to get the weather sealing done on the doors because a uh, mouse has just shown itself here. It's hiding behind my computer. You can see where it ripped up the paper towels there. So I guess uh, on Monday, I'll be going to the hardware store and buying uh, the required materials to weatherproof the doors. The front door is pretty close to the ground. I don't think it's getting in there, but back here on the back door, there's plenty of room for a mouse to get under that door. So time to get this place sealed in. Well, I am out here in the workshop. I just wrapped up a quick build video of the jigsaw storage, and uh, I like that. It was very quick and easy, but works well. I'm gonna go over to the tiny house and get a mouse trap to take care of the mouse. And then um, this week we'll get to do some work on the doors to get his buddies and friends from building in here. Uh, success on Ashley's necklace. She loves it. So I'm very happy that uh, I finally found something that she was looking for. Ah, there's another mouse. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Let's go over to the tiny house in the dark and see if we can find a mouse trap. Let's see if we can find us a mouse trap in here. I know I had a couple of them in here at one point. No, got some ant traps. Yeah. Hmm, well, I'm not sure where my mouse traps are. May have to stop by the store tomorrow on my way home from work and uh, just get a couple of them. Well, I received a small action camera. It looks a lot like a GoPro. It's kind of a knockoff. And so I was just uh, doing a little testing here. 
took it down to the pond and stuck it in and uh, rode with it on the four-wheeler for a while and I think it's gonna do pretty good I'm kind of anxious to see the footage but it's a drug race <laughs> but um, anyway so uh, Emma just no Ashley just took Emma to um, Ashley's mom's they're gonna dye some eggs for Easter and uh, I'm gonna go pick her up here in a little while and take um, Emma to uh, buy some weather stripping to hopefully get the workshop free of mice. I also contacted a company that sells a, a type of floor uh, or a door sweep there and it uh, has a rubber and uh, inside of the rubber is uh, like a steel wool and so it's supposed to prevent mice from ever chewing through that. So anyway, we're going to see if they respond, and if they do, I will put it at the bottom of all three doors here in the shop. But um, but anyway, so Emma and I are going to go and buy a couple of sweeps that will be like here. Huh. There's a bird living under the tin. Cool. Anyway, a couple of sweeps that will go here. I also want to buy a couple of these Miratec that I'm going to use for here and here. So... I was originally going to just use more of the um, hardy board siding and I thought I've already got this up here it looks nice I might as well go with it so um, anyway I'm gonna leave here in about 10 minutes. I'm going to pick up Emma now. My sister just sent a text message and said that uh, her family is going to meet up with my parents and they're going to watch the Mississippi State football game tonight. Both my sister and her husband went to Mississippi State and my dad went to the rival school of Old Miss. But let me tell you, I am really into football. You know, making those baskets and hitting those birdies and you know, all the other things football players do. So I'm going to be right there with my dad and brother-in-law just cheering them on, you know. You know, hit that puck or whatever they do. So, um, <laughs> I can't stand football. Mostly I can't stand to watch any sport. Now, playing sports is okay, but watching them... That's just boring. So I'm going to hang out with the family and eat some good food this evening. There we go. <laughs> yeah. Look, he's taking, yeah, he's taking a picture of y'all. You want to have your turn now? Yeah, go. <laughs> Give her the bird. Yeah, she, she's the... I just got back home and got Emma in bed. Apparently our team lost. I guess we didn't make enough touchdowns. Well, we got back from Lowe's and I was able to get some of these weather strips that will go on the outside of the doors and should make a big difference. Also, I picked up some of my pieces of half inch metal pipe and that's gonna be used for um, a ladder project that's gonna come up soon. I'm gonna have these pipes along the uh, shelving here and use one of my oak boards to make a ladder so that's something fun and exciting that's coming up but i'm gonna go inside and start editing some video for tomorrow i think i'm gonna do the uh sander shelf um for tomorrow well i know it's been two weeks but we're finally outside to get the grape trellis installed so i have the tall post and what i'm gonna do is uh connect it to the old uh compost tumbler posts so i'm thinking about putting it just somewhere right in here and uh, make two little runs for the grapes. So shouldn't be uh, too difficult to dig here. I've got this somewhere around two feet. Let's see. That's not too bad. Maybe a little high, but I think we can uh, work with that. Well, I believe it's getting close to Emma's nap time, so we're gonna go in, but I got the main post here in, second post in to hold the cable, and so now I have to go find the hardware to get this cinched in here. And I've got another cable over here, and that's gonna be from the same post over to the other side, and hopefully that'll be enough. I'm probably gonna do that one um, in the lower hole, so I'll have two different levels 
going here. But also got uh, the mulch just kind of tossed up under here to keep out grass and stuff. Well, I just checked and it looks like we caught Mousebert. So I'm gonna wait till the dogs are inside and then move him out to the woods, I believe. Well, I'm about to start filming two videos today. One is on this uh, Drograce. It's a uh, action cam. Looks kind of like a GoPro. Uh, I've just been testing it out for the past couple of days. It's working pretty good. And I think before I do that, I'm going to work on getting the trim boards installed for the front of the workshop. So I'm not sure if I have enough for both doors with this. So I'm going to have to see. Um, because I want to um, I have to cut this down in half or so for here and here. So that's going to be one piece. And then there will be another piece i like to go ahead and do over here. But then I have up here as well. So I'm going to have to see what I can do. I may have to buy one more of these boards for the back door. <laughs> yeah. Ashley is in her office doing a 15 minute writing session. She's been enjoying doing those most days. And Emma and I are in our junk room, which is the back bedroom. And we're going through stuff that we need to either take out to the workshop or uh, throw away or give away. And um, we're going to hopefully have a bed back here before long as a guest room. Um, but right now it is a disaster. So I'm going to try and get this place cleaned up a bit. Workshop. Probably trash. You gonna climb up there again? <laughs> Most of the reports I've heard say that the Shelter Logic tent in a box or shed in a box will only last for about three years. So I'd like to take the four wheeler back here to see how well it fits behind the house. Someday I would like to have a bit of a retaining wall back there where that wheelbarrow is and have my um, a lean to basically for the four wheeler and accessories. Um, we don't have a lot of room here behind the house, so I want to go back here and see how well it handles that. <laughs> yeah, I definitely have to have a lot more room than that. Got a couple of packages in. The first one, I've uh, ordered one of these really simple bucket openers. Yeah, that's pretty decent plastic. Yeah, so this you just uh, grab the lid and pop it open. We'll give that a try here in just a bit. And then this, I was uh, planning out since Ashley's gonna be leaving next month or at the end of this month, I decided that I would go ahead and stock up on a couple of my projects that are coming up. And uh, this is one of them. So this right here is gonna be maybe a two part, I don't know. I ordered 12 of these half inch by 24 inch pipes and they're threaded on both ends. And that's gonna be for the ladder that goes around the top of the workshop here. So that's gonna be really fun to have. To uh, get free shipping, I had to order a couple of these valves. <laughs> Let's see if this is worth $1.50 that I paid for it. it may just be the bucket that I'm using, but... Okay, there, yeah, there you go. That's better. Definitely gets it started. It was an add-on item for like $1.50, so not too bad. Emma and I just made a food run at Walmart. So I have this bad habit of browsing Google Street View and just seeing what is available. <laughs> hey. And um, sometimes you can find the 360 pictures. And I always thought you had to have a 360 camera, but apparently a regular smartphone can do it. So I'm here in the Spruce Pine Riverside Park 
and I thought I would try and take one of these 360 photos. Well, that's really cool. Uh, we just went out there and took this picture, which you can scroll through in a panorama view. Um, so if it allows me, I will post a link in the description of this video on where you can see this picture. Um, if you look down at the ground, you can see my uh, keen shoe sticking out. But uh, anyway, that was fun and pretty easy to do too. Well, Emma and I just got back. Um, I checked Google and that picture was on there. So uh, sorry for the wind. I'll post that down below so you can check it out. It's a little off from where it should be. I'm guessing that's because I turned on the uh, GPS a little late, but um, just wanted to show you that the door is done with the trim work. I think it turned out well. So I've got to do the trim up top and that piece right there is missing. Let's show you uh, the back door today. It was a little project I worked on. Whoa, think skinny thoughts there, Miss Emma. Yeah. Okay. So I was able to get that side of the trim on as well as over there. Um, I ran out of trim before I got the top done, so I'll have to uh, think about what to do there if I want to buy some more or not. And then now I'm just waiting on the bottom. So hopefully I'll get that done really soon. Well, I feel like this week was definitely an accomplishment. So I like to watch uh, Off the Ranch with Matt Carricker. And he's always saying, um, make today um, better than yesterday and make tomorrow better than today. And that seems like pretty good advice. So as far as this week goes, I have learned a lot of things. How to put weather stripping on a door, how to post uh, 360 photos to Google, and uh, all kinds of stuff. So this week has been better than last week. <laughs> well... Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next week for another exciting vlog. Bye.